Today we're making vanilla ice cream. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today is so easy. I'm making vanilla ice cream because as you can tell, I'm melting, it's really hot. But I didn't want to just do the simple, I did the no churn vanilla ice cream. Hit that eye in the sky. It'll show you how to do that. This is more of an old fashioned ice cream, but as I was getting ready to do this recipe and I started everything and I saw how to make old fashioned ice cream and I've done it before, I kept saying to myself, most people aren't going to do that. They're not going to go through all the hassle of cooking things. This is a no cook ice cream. It is so easy to make. And you notice I'm doing this in a big jar simply because I, depending upon your ice cream maker, how much of your ice cream liquid will fit or your mixture will fit into there, I don't know. So I'm starting off with, of course, the ingredients are flashing up on the screen. That is half and half. Then I have heavy cream, sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm going to give this a really good shake. So here's the cool part about doing this in this container. When I go up, when I go to fill up my freezing container, because I am using Hamilton Beach uh, for, uh, ice cream maker, I can fill it. Whatever I do not use, I can put into my refrigerator and then use it again, and then use it later. There we go. Now I will put the top on and take it over here. Once everything is in our ice cream maker, I just turn it on. That's all I have to do. It will do all the work for me. I don't know if you can hear, of course you can hear me over this, because if not, I've dubbed my sound. You'll see that it is mixing everything. Just let it go for the recommended time for your ice cream maker. That's why I'm not telling you what the recommended time is, because I don't know how you are making your ice cream. Now, if you are doing it in one of those ones that you have to crank, like we did as kids, just let it go for that amount of time. Make sure that you go until you have a nice ice cream. So we're going to let this one go. Our mixer has been going for about 20 to 30 minutes. Take that out. This is set up pretty well. However, I will tell you something interesting. Because it is so hot here, everything is melting really, really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop this out and then place it into the freezer to finish. Can you leave it in the um, container? I do believe so. And you notice I am using a spatula, a soft spatula, simply because <laughs> you don't want to scrape this thing. As you can see, it is like melting really quick out here. Now before this even hardens, or before I even put it in, I'm going to give it a real quick taste. Mmm, <laughs> super good. It has, really has that vanilla sweet without being overly sweet. This is so good. Now if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget, you can make this in any way that you want. You can add things to it. Let it set up. <laughs> the one thing I will warn you is, if it's really, really hot, remember, you're going to have to take the extra step. The pictures that I will show you of it will be it refrozen, simply because it, it is. It's so good, but it is just so hot out here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.